Welcome to my dream gaming setup version 2.0 and tips to help you with your gaming setup too. What's good people and welcome to the channel. I go by the name of Mr. Midas now. You could have been anywhere in the world right now, but you are with me and I appreciate it. We are here version 2.0. It's been so much work. I'm super excited to actually have my own gaming setup, my own gaming studio about 10 minutes away from my house. I'm gonna explain how I put it together. I'm gonna explain everything you see in the background and give you some advice for your own gaming setup too. Work, edit and game. So this is the main area you'll find me in the studio. I do most of my work here from capturing gameplay on my beast of a PC or editing on Premiere Pro or just having meetings during the day. So my beautiful gaming monitor was gifted to me by the wonderful people at MSI and it is an Optimex Meg 381 CQR Plus. It's a 38 inch curve ultra wide with 175 hertz refresh rate. Although I can only receive 144 hertz and I don't know if this is because I haven't overclocked it. It has NVIDIA G-Sync Ultimate, HDR and one millisecond response time. Fam, for gaming, the colors, the visuals is so sick. I can set up in split screens for multiple applications, but I'm not sure if you can make separate screens HDMI ports at the same time. I have a link in the description for the monitor, but if you want a proper breakdown, go and check out my Donny Tech Jamos review and he'll break it down for you. Next is my handy go-to, my Elgato Stream Deck Plus. I use this to navigate in various sites or applications like YouTube, Twitter, control my lights in the studio and a lot more. My keyboard and mouse are from Rocka and I have the Vulcan 2 Max and it has RGBs for days. My microphone is an Elgato Wave 3 and the sound is beyond impressive. I'm using it on the Elgato Low Profile Mic Arm. I got a little controller LED from Amazon and a link piece of art that I purchased from a friend. Now the main attraction is obviously this beauty. Yes, this is my PC. I call her Harley Quinn and she was custom built for me by the wonderful people at CyberPower and I got her in March 2022. Some of the specs are the CPU is an Intel R Core i7-1700KF. I've got Corsair Hydro X water coloured GeForce RTX 3080 with Rage Racing technology. The memory is 32 gig DDR5. I have hyper liquid cooling in there and I have two two terabyte SSDs and one one terabyte SSD and an Elgato 4K60 Pro in case I ever bring my consoles to the studio. One thing I had no clue that you actually had to clean your PC. Shout out to the Melanin Gamers for putting me onto this. Now the first thing I had to decide when I was moving into my new setup space was a theme. So I went for the Black Panther Black and Purple with a hint of blue. So I've added the superhero to my PC because obviously he's the greatest. Now the reason why I have a gaming studio set up in an office and not home is first, space. Having a one bedroom flat in London, I didn't want my bedroom or my front room being my gaming setup. And also during the pandemic, I was at home all of the time. So I really wanted to be able to leave my house in the morning and work through content all day. If you decide that you're gonna look into renting a space, make sure you're eligible for small business relief so you don't end up having to pay extra tax on top of renting your space and make sure you get a space with all bills included. Lights, lighting and RGB. Now I have plenty of lights in the studios, different ones for different things. We have the Elgato key lights. These were gifted to me by the wonderful people at Elgato and these are used for lighting my face when I'm filming or streaming content. I also have a extra ring light for over the shoulder shoots or to help me light up my green screen. My favorite RGBs in the studios are from Nanoleaf. My shapes are specifically just for RGB effects and to make the studio look sick. My first set are Nanoleaf shapes and I got gifted a nine panel starter kit. And I have these in a purple and blue combination that react to sound. 
Putting up the nano leaf shapes is pretty simple. They have stickers behind each shape and the hardest thing is deciding what pattern you want. These make my PC area look super cool. My next set of lights are my Nano Leaf line and these are my favorite and they are beautiful. The colors are just next level. Now Nano Leaf sent me a starter kit too and I was planning to do my MM logo or do an M and R for Mr. Midas but the shapes are really difficult to set up for letters and I just didn't have the space to do that. So I went with this arrow fusion up shape cause man's always moving up. Nah, I'm lying. I just found a cool shape online and I took inspiration from that design. Lastly, I have my Nano Leaf Sonic shapes. I got this from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie premiere and the blue goes with my color theme in the studio. I think Nano Leaf are incredible, but the one thing I didn't like is linking the lights to the app. I've had issues with this multiple times and I'll speak more about it in another video, but once you get it up and running, it works fantastically. figures, statues, and collectibles. Now this is my favorite area in the studio. I always love anime and gaming collectibles and I love looking at my collection. So let's go through it. So at the top, I have a few Funko Pops and some Ubisoft heroes. I have a Tekken 7 statue from the collectible edition. I've got a cool 3D Sonic pendant and chain from King Ice. I love this Gotham Knight statue with Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood and Batgirl, such a great piece. If you know me, you know I love Final Fantasy 7, it's one of my favourite games ever and I've dedicated a shelf to it. I've got Cloud on the bike with the Buster Sword which is from the Final Fantasy 7 Remake Collector's Edition. I've got FF16 HyperX headphone covers, still books and other cool bits. Below we have some Dragon Ball Z. My favourite character is Trunks, so I have two of him. I've got my top 25 Black Entrepreneurs of 2022 award from the Black Business Show and HSBC. I've got some physical games, but they're mainly still book editions as most of my games are at home with my consoles. I've got some cool controllers. My Xbox Persona 5 Royal being my favourite. Such great detail in the piece. I have one for Watch Dogs, Space Jam, and a special edition green. The next shelf has Force Hammers from the God of War Collector's Edition, Cow's Hilt from Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I got gifted at a preview event in Los Angeles earlier on this year. Next, I have a super cool V, which is randomly on my Legend of Zelda shelf, which is my other favorite gaming series ever. I really love this Tears of the Kingdom coin and my Breath of the Wild Link is one of my favorite pieces. I have another statue from 2077. This was gifted to me at E3 2018 in Los Angeles. My last shelf has a Lego tool neck from Horizon Zero Dawn, which was so difficult to put together. I've got Sub-Zero and Scorpion helmets from Mortal Kombat 11 and finally Commander Shepard's helmet from Mass Effect. My shows are from Ikea and I really love them but if I started my studio from scratch I would have gone with the backless shelves so I could have put the RGB lights behind them. Next to my PC I have a few cool Cable Guys controller holders gifted to me by EXG Pro. I have a couple of my dual sentences including the LeBron James Special Edition and JBL and Bang & Olsen gaming headsets. Gaming chair, chill area and more. My gaming chair is one of the studio centerpieces. It is my Black Panther Special Edition Hero Series Noble Chair. This was gifted to me to be part of the theme of the studio by the wonderful people at Overclockers and I love the detail. It's beyond epic and it feels huge like sitting on a throne. I have a little sofa area for whenever guests come to the studios with some cool cushions and plushies from various games and companies. I've got some gaming art and presents from companies on the wall. This box has sweets and cutlery. And I have some really cool PS1 cup holders. And this is my sick Dragon Ball Z rug. I bought this from Comic-Con. 
and this is what the setup looks like in the day so yeah this is my second studio place and i've come a very very long way there's still so much i want to do like my wire management is trash and i'm still kind of learning the technicals about how to run everything but if you got any advice for me what you think i should add to the studio let me know what do you feel about my theme would you change the theme what would you add what would you replace let me know if you've got any questions that you want to know about getting your own gaming space or or even gifting make sure you let me know in the comments below thank you for staying to the end of the videos you are the mvps this is different from most of the videos we do on the channel it's usually reviews and previews if you want to see more stuff like this let me know i'm out of here peace Oh, 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 oh,